Good morning, guys. Ross, Franklin County Forge here. So glad you could join us. Today, we're working on the addition. We've got both of our header beams complete. If you haven't followed along, um, spoke about what's going on here. I was going to use two by 12s for my headers and some I-beams came up. These are actually uh, guardrail posts. So you can see there's a welded seam every six feet. So each of these are about 36 feet long. I split it in half or I made it in half to make it easier to set up there uh, but you'll see uh, the pieces with the with the bigger quarter inch brackets down here that's the bottom so that's where a post is going to be where a post is going to be where a post is going to be and so forth and then where the smaller angle brackets are is where my rafters are going to go today we're working on our posts we're going to set them up in these brackets we're going to go we're going to line them up by our string line here on the bottom and we're going to use a level to get them straight and then we'll brace them as we go and then once we get all our posts up we got to determine our level that i want to set them and we'll cut the tops off and then once all that's done we'll be ready to set the headers now i won't be setting the headers today but hopefully i can get the posts done today it's about 40 degrees right now and it's dropping tomorrow is going to be about I don't know, single digits so a couple days of that and this will be nice and frozen down here i can get the skid steer down here and set those headers up there so i want to have the post done by then what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to set the post up i'm going to get it leveled and everything and i'm going to put a couple c clamps down here to squeeze it where i want it to hold and then that'll hold it steady enough for me to drill my holes through the wood and then we're going to put through bolts in here so there'll be four bolts in each post. I'm getting my third post now. I've gotten two up. Dad's out there uh, putting the other bolts in the second one. But these are all my posts. I got six left here, two already out there. I'm gonna grab a post here, get it out there, and we'll start on the third one. So far, it's going pretty good. It's starting to snow though, so that kind of sucks. Here, if I can get it between the tractor and the wood burner. Come on. Ah. Whew. Whew. Let's see if I can bash Dad's truck here. He also brought me a load of firewood and the forks. I'm thinking I'll probably end up using the forks to put those headers up. Dad's finishing tightening this second to last post. Now I'm gonna go get the last one here. And we'll be ready to 
put our bracing up. It's starting to look a little bit like something when you get it sticking up in the air like that. So for anybody just tuning in, the way I made I actually made these brackets, I just took five inch by quarter inch bar stock. We sheared it off and then I punched holes. Well, yeah, then I punched holes where I wanted them and then we bent it on a break. And I had to finish bending it with the torch and uh, just bent it by hand with the torch. So that's how I got them both 90. So we bent one 90 and then the other one not quite 90. And then I just anchored it into the, the pier or you could put rebar and wet set it but this was just easier for me to get everything lined up at my slow pace then you set the post in get it all leveled up where you want it and then I put a clamp on it to hold it fine tune it drill our holes through and then put the bolts in tighten them down and they're it's pretty pretty sturdy right now so now I'll go get the last one. Well, I went skunk hunting. Been, had a weird acting skunk hanging around the, the yard here. So I took care of him. And then dad got the back end of his truck unloaded. We're going to get the skid steer and get the forks out so we can get the rest of that unloaded. Of course, my phone died out there. Then we're going to put, put the bracing on the posts. And I'd say that'll be a pretty good day truck unloaded firewood and we actually got started bracing before I went and got the camera so what we've done is to keep from having to put come out here so I can get around here with the skid steer and everything I'm just bracing from from the end down as a diagonal and we're going across each post to brace it this way and then we got to decide where we want to be with the skid steer when we set the header uh, but we'll either brace inside or brace outside for this way here. This was out this way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I could tell whenever I had my bracket, it was so I, straight on this side and off on that side, so it kind of pulled I need to go get that other 12-footer and get out there so I can get it up there and push it. Is it moving? Yeah. Yeah. But every time you let up, it's good. you're just going right back to the same spot now. Yeah. Well, you can take a ratchet strap and... Take it from the up, up high there to down low and ratchet it. Leave that board right there. Get it close. Yeah. You know. Let's just do that. All right, we're trying to ratchet it. Is it work? Is it moving? I think it is. Go put the level on it too. I don't want to go past it. We're not going past it. <laughs> uh, scratch working now. Well, it's it's pulling this board down. It's actually working really good. We're just hoping we don't get the strap stuck behind that board. Mm -hmm. We're almost there. You just have to lift this other board, your brace board down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that or a little more. Oh, that's really close. Okay. Let her off and see what happens. Then we can lose. Bound to pull it a little bit, right? No work. Got right on. That's where we're at. The bubble is all the way over here. I mean, we've probably moved it three inches up here, three or four inches. Now we're going to go diagonal or straight across lateral from here straight to this one. And that'll brace this one. And we'll do the same thing lateral to the next one to the next one.
exciting stuff, guys. We've got all our posts up. They're they're leveled out, plumbed, everything. I mean, they could be a little bit off just from a little bit of movement after we screwed it in. Uh, but the next step is I'm going to actually mark an ele elevation line on here, and then we're gonna, I'm going to measure up from that to get my my same level on every post to cut off. I'm going to cut roughly six inches off. These are 10-foot posts. I'm going to cut them down to uh, about 9.6. So the top of my header will be at 10 feet. So that's the next step. Mark all these, get them all cut, and then we'll be ready for the header. I'm waiting to put the header up until we get some free, some get the ground frozen here, because uh, it'll be a muddy mess. I'll be tracking it up and end up getting stuck or something stupid, uh, which is 43 this morning when I came out, and it is, I think, 29 or 30 right now. So the temperature's dropping. It's gonna be down like 12 degrees tonight. Uh, so then I'm gonna let it sit there tomorrow and then probably either Friday or Saturday morning I'll come out here and we'll try to get these headers up there and and we'll be moving right along guys so uh, I'll see you then morning guys so it's the next day after we put up the posts I've already done these first three here I've cut all those off to the height that I want them what I'm doing is since I'm by myself I made a mark on every post that's at the exact same elevation. And usually I would make that mark up here, but I actually just used my string line that I already had up. And so what I did was, made a mark on every post. I got a piece of quarter inch steel that I'm clamping right on that mark that allow me to hook my tape measure to. And then I measure up nine feet and a half inch from that, that mark there. And that's going to give me basically a nine and a half foot uh, post. And then I'm going to set my six inch header and all that. So it'll be 10 feet from grade to the top of my header. So I'm doing that right now. I got this one here is all measured, marked. Just got to cut it. Then I got to do these four. So once I get this one done, I'll be half done. And then. I'll be ready for the header. All right, so we're to the next post. I've got, if you guys can see my mark down underneath here. Got that on there. Now we're gonna climb up the ladder and we'll mark it at nine feet and a half in. Just like that. With a square and I go all the way around and we end up with this. A line all the way around. And I'll take my circular saw I'll cut on this side, then I'll have to move my ladder over, cut on this side, and there'll be just a little strip in the middle here, and I'll knock that off with the hammer. And that's how I've been doing it.